Well, hey there. Now, we closed out August with a, only a short look at Venus, so I thought I'd come out earlier tonight since the sun sets earlier each night, but uh, that's what we have over in the southwest sky, right where it would be. <laughs> so, the only thing I can see in these uh, silvery skies is Jupiter, so might as well go take a look at it. It's not super dark out yet, but I do see a little flicker of the uh, stars of Libra down in the lower right. Sorry, something just dropped on my head from the tree above me. <laughs> Alright, so tonight we're not going to see much of uh, Jupiter's moons. We only have the one out in the lead and Callisto is way out in the back. The other two are possibly behind Jupiter or on the lit side where we can't see it. I have a feeling they're on the back side though. And it's very difficult to see them. The sky is just too silvery right now. It's not quite dark enough. But so let's have a look here at uh, Jupiter itself. And each night it gets harder and harder to uh, see the bands. Some of that could be from my settings or the sky conditions here. Or who knows, maybe its uh, orbital path is taking it further away. But anyway, that's our Jupiter. And at least two of its moons. Well, I was hoping to start September off with a bang, but... <laughs> so far, it's the only thing lit up out here. Alright, so I'll let that run for a bit and still go and hunt for... Saturn, I couldn't find it yet, but, and so far, that's where Venus should be. <laughs> Not looking good, huh? And so for reference where the house and garage are, and the willow tree, there. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I'm not going to make the same mistakes. I am sure that's going to be Antares. How much you want to bet? Yeah. I can see those two flickering stars over to the right. And an airplane again. Just like last night when I was uh, focused in on this area. Except it was dark right at the time. But right below Antares, there, there goes a, an aircraft. Now remind me to talk about airplanes. <laughs> well, I could right now, as a matter of fact. Um, you know, last night when I was filming Jupiter and saw this uh, solid light coming up, you know, low from underneath it, I thought, well, I wonder what that was, because airplanes normally don't have that solid, at least <laughs> whatever universe I was in, the airplanes don't have the uh, solid light. They do have the flashing red and green and all that good stuff, but, and that's how you could uh, distinguish between the ISS, which is a solid lit object and an airplane, but I don't know. And then I saw one craft after another with uh, having a solid light, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm at in the universe or what universe I'm in. <laughs> Might have shifted. Alrighty, so. Let's take a trek over to find good old Saturn. And 
There it is. Okay, to the right of the willow tree is Saturn. Antares is a little bit hard to see, but it's uh, right there in the middle of the screen, but lower. And of course, Jupiter over there. Remind me to double check to see what that star is down there to about the seven o'clock position of Saturn. Alrighty, once again, we're not going to see much of the moon planets orbiting Saturn, but way off in the distance over to the, say, 4 o'clock position, pretty far apart, is a, either a star or one of its planets, moons, I mean, and Titan's the only one I can find most nights, and it's over about the, oh, 8 o'clock position or so. To be able to get them, I have to uh, really crank up the ISO. It's at 6400 at the moment. But that's enough there. So there is our Saturn. On this first evening of September 2018, it's now 8.39 p.m. And the sun set up here at 7.56 gets earlier and earlier each evening so we know what that means <laughs> seasons are gonna change oh my so we'll let it take its journey here and go and search for Mars now the moon won't rise here until about oh 1130 at night so maybe after midnight before it clears the tree, so I'll probably again miss it. I think it'll be 60% lit when it uh, eventually does rise, so. Just floating up there, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> With a little wobble every now and again. That's from the slate breeze here. But that'll do it for the ring one here. And another plane. This time it's below Saturn, heading towards Antares. <laughs> Which is flickering there, and Jupiter over there. Let me go look and see if Mars can be found yet. Oh yeah. Mars is right there in the willow tree. So, let's head on up to the rocks. Oh my. Okay, so we lose uh, Jupiter in this shot. Might be able to see it up that way. But Mars is uh, the brightest star or planet lit up there. So I better hurry up. I think that cloud bank is going to go over it. And even though it's still the brightest uh, planet out there for me, it's not coming in near as orange as it uh, had been back in, what was it, uh, early August, middle August? I don't know. They say it's getting further away from us now, so that will dim it, I would think. And you know what? I guess it's going to be an early night. So our first of September only starts off with three of them. But that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I hope your weekend's going well, everybody. And I want to thank you. And wish you all well. Alrighty, good night from Northeast Ohio. Bye now.